Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss another important question of mathematical physics. And here, this question is going to be related to the topic contour integration. Also, the steps which we are going to take to solve it, this is going to be a detailed method to solve this question. While there is also a short trick. Short trick I have already provided you in the previous sessions, in the previous videos which I have uploaded on this channel. So I hope you have watched all those videos too. Now in today's session mainly we are going to talk about the detailed method. So now let's have a look at the steps to solve this question with the detailed method. Now if I am going to talk about the step number 1 to solve any contour integration based question. The step number 1 is that you have to find the poles. If we are going to find the poles, what we mean by the poles exactly? Basically the finite value of z or if it is given as a function of x, you can consider that value of x. Okay, but generally even if the question is given in terms of x, we can write it in terms of z first and then we can proceed with further steps to get the final answer because it will not affect your final answer in this way. So any finite value of z. Uh, which can make the given function infinity is known as pole clear and generally in most of the cases we are just going to equate the denominator with zero to get the value of the pole and that's what we have done here when we are equating the denominator that is 1 plus z to the power 4 is equal to 0 okay we will get z to the power 4 is equal to minus 1 now the point is how we can represent minus 1. This is going to be a very important step in this question. So we can write minus 1 as e to the power iota odd multiple of pi. Clear? An odd value you can represent with 2n plus 1 where n can have the value 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on too. So whenever you are just going to put any value of n in 2n plus 1 expression it will become odd. Clear? So it's a very important step that you have to show represent the minus 1 with this exponential form to solve it further. Now the next thing is when you will remove the power z, uh, z to the power 4, that power 4 from the left hand side, what will be the expression you will get in the right hand side? That's going to be this one, which is z to the power, uh, it's going to be z is equal to e to the power iota 2n plus 1 and pi by 4 okay because you have removed the power 4 from the left hand side so on the right hand side you are going to get 1 upon 4 so that's what has been mentioned now you need to consider n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on too so for the starting four values of n you will get the pole in the first quadrant then in the second then in the third and in the fourth quadrant and for next values if you will consider the repetition of the pole values will start okay so that's why we are just going to take the first four values in the starting now when you are taking n is equal to 0 then n is equal to 1 then n is equal to 2 and 3 so you can see i have mentioned the four values of poles here and why we are not taking the further values because we will get the same values back okay for the exponential uh, which we are getting right now even with the further values by using the properties of trigonometric functions you will be able to get exactly same expressions the answer okay basically the final answer now let's talk about this thing that how we can finally simplify it and get to know about this thing that in which quadrant this particular exp exponential value will exist so you can write e to the power iota theta as cos theta plus iota sin theta that's what we have mentioned here now for the cos pi by 4 and sin pi by 4 put the values and you will get to know about the exact expression which you will get. For n is equal to 0 you are going to get this okay because n is equal to 0 was giving you e to the power iota pi by 4 and that's what we have considered. If we are going to talk about e to the power iota 3 pi by 4 again you will do it in the same way and you are just going to simplify the trigonometric functions you will have to write their values that's what you will do and you can see we have done this clear next thing so in this way we have got z1 z2 z3 z4 values after this what is going to be your next step you can see when both the real part and the imaginary parts are positive which means it's gonna uh, show you that 
both the values are positive which means it's a first quadrant value you are going to get clear the values existing in the first quadrant clear and in this case when real part is negative and the imaginary part is positive it is showing the real part negative that means x negative and y positive so imaginary part we show on the y axis so that shows second quadrant okay which is also lying in the upper half of the complex plane you can see it here too clear now whenever we are going to solve any contour integration question in which the integration limits are given from minus infinity to plus infinity we consider the poles lying on the upper half of the complex plane or on the purely real axis so that's how just the first two poles you will consider now next step will be to find the residue on those two poles so what is the order of the pole that's going to be one okay the first order of poles you are having so what you will do just simply uh, use the formula to find the residue for the first order pole that is keep the numerator as it is and find the first order derivative of the denominator and then put z's value which is the pole's value in the uh, expression you are getting that's what we have done to find the residue at the pole e to the power iota pi, pi by 4 and e to the power iota 3 pi by 4 okay so that's how you are going to find the residue finally and this is going to be the value which you will get for the second pole next thing if we are going to talk about the final expression that will be 2 pi iota into sum of residue okay that's what we are considering 1 upon 4 is present in both the residues okay so you are going to write it directly and that's how you will be able to get your final answer so you can see how the final expression has been written there again e to the power iota theta form has been simplified by using the trigonometric functions and the properties and your final answer is going to be pi by root 2 okay even with a trick you can solve it but sometimes wherever the trick is not applicable you should also know about the detailed method and that's how you will easily be able to solve any such question based on uh, this form clear so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope each and everything will be clear to you whatever discussion we have done in today's session and all these steps will be clear to you also guys one more important information I want to share with all of you here that's going to be related to Unacademy Plus subscription. If you want to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming CSI or net physics exam preparation, then you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also, when you will take the Unacademy Plus subscription by using and by applying the referral code that is Anshali Arora, as you can see I have mentioned it here. So you just need to write it as it is. The spelling should be same, no space in between. Write it, apply it and get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. With the help of Unacademy Plus courses, you will be able to do the best preparation for your upcoming exam with the guidance of all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam preparation. So guys, all these things will help you a lot to do the best preparation. You can take the Unacademy Plus subscription to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators. And whenever you will take the subscription, you can use and apply the referral code that is Anshali Arora and write it as it is no space in between apply it and get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope all the points which we have discussed in today's session will be clear to all of you also guys if you are new on this channel you can subscribe this channel click on the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new videos i will upload so that's how you will be able to do uh, the best preparation with all these videos and courses and everything. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.